Greetings. Namaste. This is Stasia Bliss, and it is the day of the Grand Cardinal Cross, so they call it. This great configuration in the heavens. And in this moment, I am reaching out to the you that is in me, to the me that is in you. And I am recognizing in this moment, as I have in so many previous moments, and maybe have not done so in many moments in between those moments, if you follow. But in this here now, as the heavens make this grand square, as they also call it, that I am speaking knowing oneness, knowing that whatever I have been experiencing or am experiencing in my current reality matrix, that somehow this environmental reflection is showing me what has been going on here within. So I have two things to say about that. One is if I do not like what I see, and sometimes that has been the case, maybe even the case now, at least in certain aspects and areas of life, then I really need to take a moment, maybe many moments, maybe this whole day, to go inside of my own being and to assess the construction of my inner psyche. To see what, what beliefs, what patterns, what level of self-worth, love, acceptance that I am holding, possessing, knowing to be true for me. And it's funny because for me personally, those things have always been unquestionable. And I feel funny saying that because I feel like those are things that many of us struggle with at one time or another, but I feel like I can surely say that there has been so much of my life that I felt really good about all those things, really strong in my self-acceptance and love and self-worth. And yet what I'm finding is that even below the surface of that which we think we know, lies another layer and I really believe this is true for all of us and that is that we are carrying around especially those of us who are very concerned with our consciousness and the planet and evolution we are are the carriers we are carrying the bulk of the load if you will we are in the body of the one we are the head we are proxy uh, using a word that I've liked to use before, but we are the pivot points. I am a pivot point. You are a pivot point. So even if I have felt to be true that I love myself, that I accept myself, that I feel worthy of all the, the abundance of that is mine, that, that I feel worthy of the love that is mine, I have still opted in this reality by taking on the consciousness that I have to work out all the kinks for those feelings of less than self-worth, lack of self-acceptance, lack of abundance, lack of all these things. I have chosen to work those out for the many because I have a consciousness capable of doing that and so do you or you wouldn't be listening. So even if I feel like I have done that work for me, well, good, yes, you've done that work for you. I've done that work for me, good for us. The work is not done. The work to be done after our own initial taking on of these blessings, clearing our own space, saying yes to who we are, The next thing is to do the work for the many. That means every other occasion 
that we come into contact with fear, with anger, with hatred, with lack of self-love, with jealousy, with um, lack and poverty issues, with feelings of separation, with any of these experiences, that they are not ours alone. They belong to the all. They belong to the one in its greater expression. And that as strong pivot points, as the brain, if you will, of the one, it is our job and mission. It is our choice that we made before we came here. It is our opportunity, our pleasure, if we let it, our bliss to work these things out for everyone so that peace may reign within here, reflected out here. So the more opportunities I get to work through these feelings of self-love, abundance, worth, acceptance, that I get to go through them, the muck of self, go through the, the sticky, gooey, whatever. And it may look like a myriad of different experiences. It may look like my relationship fell apart or that I don't have a place to live or that I don't have any money in my wallet or that my kid wants to do harm to himself or any of these things. It may look like any of these things. It may look like many more things. And all of these things I tell you are for the good of the whole. If we can in our highest perspective deal with these things and say yes I see that no matter what is being shown to me in my little environment that I can see the very sliver of the all that I can see if I can take that as information insight that there is still clearing to be done here so I look at that and I say okay there's still something going on here about lack. So I'm going to take that lack reflected inward and say there must still be something in the whole, not just stage of bliss. In fact, not even stage of bliss at all. Stage of bliss is fine. And, and I suggest that you, your name, you are fine as well. But instead, be bigger than you. Be the proxy for the all. Be what you came here to be. Be the peace that you wish to see. And by that I mean now say, okay, there's lack right here in front of me. That means in the oneness, there is lack. Let me take a moment. Use Ho'oponopono or whatever it is that works for you. Ho'oponopono is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you to that part of me. Or whatever works to fill the void of lack that is very acutely being reflected to me in my environment as no money or as a child expressing lack of self-love or as a relationship seeming to falter. That lack, that disconnect is in the all and as a lens to the all, I get to heal it. That is my you know, job to do. And as I do that, as I take that job on as mine, and accept it not as Stasia Bliss has a problem she needs to work out. No. That's where we get sidetracked to repeat cycles. That's where we get sidetracked into thinking it's our own stuff and we behave in vain. Do you hear me? When we think this is our own stuff playing out that we have to figure out and fix we are living in vain. We are not living the greatest lives that we can because the only reason we're living through this stuff now with the consciousness we have is because we get to heal the planet now. The planet is asking us to stop taking everything so personally. How many times do we have to be told that? This is not about you. This is about the oneness. Okay, I see the seeming separation. I take that inside me, planet Earth, Stasia, not personal, individual Stasia, planet Earth. I'm calling it Stasia because the sacred one is also you. You are the wholeness. We are the microcosm of the macrocosm. Whatever is occurring in here is occurring out here. As the one beings, as the key pivot point people, 
ask the awake ones. It is not being egotistical to know that you change your reality by changing yourself. It is responsible. It is responsibility. It is recognizing your duty as a spiritual warrior, as the Brahmins of our time. And when someone says to me, you can't have it all, I say, it is my duty to have it all. Have it all together in here. And every place I continue to see disharmony and, and lack of peace, okay, good, I have still a job to do. Bring it in here, breathe into it, fill it up, send love in, light in, peace in. And how am I paid? How am I paid for doing this work? How are you paid for doing this work? I promise you will know. We are not paid. In fact, we are revoked of our payment when we take it personally. When we take it personally, funds are removed from our account. Capiche? When we know we're clearing it for bigger than us, we are compensated. Not always with green cash, sometimes, but with things that you need and desire for your littler self. The littler self, I promise, will get taken care of when you realize your job is to be your bigger self. My job is to be my bigger self. So on this day of the Cardinal Cross, things are pressing in. It is time to pivot and remember who we are. Stop pretending that it's only about us. It's not only about us, and yet it is. See the catch? It's not about me with a little s. It's about me with a big s. Me with a little s is just the ego stage of bliss me. My life, my little world. But me with the big s means that everything that goes on my reality is the world. And by that I mean I can change the world by sending love and amazingness into what I have in front of me because what I have in front of me is being given to me as a holographic representation of the all. I'm in the changing room. I'm in the, the back green room, the computer programmer of the all, the, the control panels, if you will, and so are you in the seat where we can affect the all. So let's do it right now. Let's stop playing small and play big. So yes, you can do it from right where you are. If the opportunity comes for it, you to change your positioning, great. If you don't like what you're seeing from your little standpoint, well then neither does the one. The one is looking through our eyes right now, the bigger one. So if I don't like it, I'm saying there, there could be more cohesiveness, there could be more peace. So how do I do it? This is just a, a looking glass. I'm just looking here to find out how to change here. Here is just a smaller version of here. Does that make sense? Here is just a smaller version of here, but we affect change by going within. Close the eyes, feel in, send light to all those dark regions, but recognize there is a balancing. There is a balancing. So accept, don't reject the darkness that you see, but give it love, embrace it, be it fully. Because when we fully hear what wants to be heard, what wants to be seen, it can transform. We don't shun any part of life. We bring it in and we eat it, we absorb it. Like Shiva of the Hindu pantheon takes in what is seemingly poison and transforms it into the one that is. We are the one that is. The is is. The Isis, the goddess, the gods, the divine, the Christ light, the body of Christ. We are these things. I and my father, mother, God are one. All that the father hath, I have. You have. All that the mother have, you have, I have. We are. There is no separation. There is only one. 
there was only one. So on this day of the grand cardinal cross, let us take back our rightful duty, our job, our mission that we came here to do and said yes to, and start seeing the beauty by changing within us what we see no longer works in the one. So stage of bliss, shanti om, peace for all, hadi om, let the divine reign, namaste.